Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a great day. Welcome back to day 18. And I wanna to talk to you guys about how dogs can experience emotional eating. So in case you didn't know, um, it's true. I've experienced this with uh, a couple of dogs that I've had in my family. And uh, the first example that I wanna share with you guys is our Cocker Spaniel Lady. Um, that we used to have. Um, my mom was her person, her favorite person. And whenever my mom would leave, whether it was to go visit um, family in Manitoba or for whatever reason and she would be gone, Lady would not eat at all while my mom was gone. She was so sad and depressed that her person had left her. And even though she still loved the rest of our family, she didn't love us like she loved my mom. She had a very special connection with her and she would get very depressed and sad when she would leave and she would not eat her food when my mom would leave. So I found that quite interesting and a more recent experience that I've had with dogs and emotional eating or um, just their weird eating patterns is our dog Ellie and she's still with us. She's currently half paralyzed. Um, because she tweaked something in her back a few years ago and it just progressively got worse and her back end doesn't really work so she just kind of drags her butt along in the grass and she is very happy when we were able to let her outside. So right now she is currently in the grass just eating her dinner that she was barking at me for. And I'm also in BC right now, just um, doing some stuff with my parents uh, for the week here. But Ellie is very content now that she's eaten. And she was barking at me for probably 10 minutes before I realized, oh, hey, she hasn't been fed for supper yet. She's barking at me because she's hungry and she's telling me to feed her. Hi, Jordan. How are you? And... I find it kind of interesting that she will bark at me or my mom or my dad and tell us that she's hungry or she's thirsty and different barks mean different things. And she's crying for attention right now. So she has a couple different barks. One is for food, one is for water, and one is for attention. And sometimes we can't even tell the difference. Um, but there are some days that she won't eat and we don't really know why. We will give her her normal wet food that she loves to eat and then she just decides or she just says she sniffs it and she doesn't eat it. So the good thing about having two dogs now that I'm back with my parents is Twister will pretty much eat anything <laughs> and he will eat Ellie's food if she doesn't eat it for either in the morning or the evening for supper. But there are just days that Ellie's has and she just won't eat sometimes. And then the next day she'll be back to normal and she'll eat her normal meals in the morning and then the evening. So what I want to hear from you guys is if you've ever experienced this with your pets, whether it's a cat or a dog. Um, I don't know if anyone else has experienced this with like ferrets or hamsters or whatever, depending on how you feed them. Don't know. Don't judge. Don't have any preconceived notions about it. But let me know in the comments down below um, what you've experienced or anything like that or even if you found this either funny or interesting what I'm talking about drop your favorite emoji down below I'd love to hear your thoughts and don't forget to check out my free Facebook community I'd love to have you whether you're a guy or a girl and it's just an awesome community where we can just support one another and talk about um, emotional eating and just support one another, not be judged. It is a safe zone for you if that's what you're looking for in a Facebook community and you just need some, some support in what you're going through. So check it out. I will link it in the comments or if you want to click it in my bio, go right ahead. Love to have you and hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Mm -hmm.